Build a bonfire, build a bonfire, stick two tea on the top. Put a t-shirt in the middle and we'll burn the fucking lot. Oh, hello YouTube. How is everybody? Um, ignore my singing. I'm, I'm not the best. Um, I'm getting almost regular at doing these videos now, ain't I? Um, it's, it's just the fact that I've had a really, really cool haul and I want to share, want to share it with you all. Um, there's a mixture of toys, video games, a couple of items I'm going to keep. Um, mainly for resale, you know. How dare I resell stuff and make an honest living when I could sit here crying and ask you all to give me some money so I don't have to go to work. So I've got my retro bear T-shirt on just in case it gets uh, chilly in here. We'll get a, a match and a lighter to it. Um, but we'll dive in. We'll dive in. I'll tell you the story. So I'm sat at home last night, finished trawl trawling through the latest uh, YouTube drama of what I can watch. And I see a box on uh, Facebook Marketplace. And uh, I think, oh, that, that's really cheap. Uh, it's not complete what was in there, but I know I'd got the items to complete at the shop. So I'll show you what it is. It's uh, Power Rangers Dragon's Order. As you can see, I've not got the inside because I've prepared myself. I've took it out. So let's show you all. It's got the cardboard on the top as well. So it's, it's pretty much as complete as can be. As you can see, it's got the dragon sword and all the main bits. Usually that's missing the stand for the sword and that bits. There's a bit in there that I've not actually seen before. Can I get it out? I think that's off uh, the mammoth. Anyway, it's missing the green ranger. Well, I have a green ranger in the store, so that'll be being put together. And then that'll become a complete item. So I saw that and I thought... I'm going to get that and as you do with marketplace or as you should be doing here we go we're getting out free tips now i'm not even going to charge for this if you see someone selling an item click on their profile it will show you their other items for sale and it did and he had got a deluxe megazord again really nice condition box these are i mean i picked up a dragon zord and a dragon zord sword last week anyone who follows me on instagram face well follows the shop on instagram facebook and now on tiktok i shared that um so these items are really cool i think the only thing this is missing is a couple of feet for the pterodactyl when it's not in um megazord form but other than that there's everything to build the robot so i said yeah i'll definitely have that i mean the t-rex has even got the little bit of um the tail that's usually missing so i missed the guy i said i'll have them both i'll come and fetch them tomorrow as in today and as I sat down and my little mind started working, I thought some other fucker is going to either A, offer him more money, or B, go and fetch them now. So I said to him, I said, I'll come and fetch them now. And he said, yeah, that's great. He gave me the address. And as I'm sat in my car, pinging in the um, postcode, I just sent him a message. Do you have any other toys or video games? That's the sort of stuff I'm into. And off I went. So drove about 35 minutes, 30 minutes to Willanore, place in just outside Wolverhampton between Warsaw and as I've pulled up I've looked at my phone to check I've got the right house number and uh, he sent me loads of pictures and a message that I've just saw the pictures and my mind's blown I'm like I'm about to walk into a little Aladdin's cave here he's got loads of stuff so I walked in um, Megazord Dragons were waiting for me he said he'd had a guy called Mohammed constantly pestering him being kind of pushy saying I will come now I will pay you more and the guy was like no I've agreed a deal that's it the guy's on his way I'm not gonna not stick to the deal which is great I mean I've had that a couple of times it's nice to know there's some people who when they agree a deal they stick to it because I don't get these people like uh, my mate Mohammed who when they've not got the deal they try and fuck the deal up for someone else I know someone who did that to a friend of mine on a Sega Saturn what a fucking real cunty thing to do. You know, if you missed out on the deal, you missed out on the deal. Don't be a dick about it. Tough shit. You win some, you lose some. You live to fight another day. So anyway, there was pictures and pictures of stuff. We'd already agreed that. Um, so I'll show you the first gaming. We'll mix it up. We'll go gaming, toy gaming. So on the floor, I'm about to pick it up and everything's going to go flying, was a box Mega Drive. Mega Drive 1. It's in there, it's got two controllers, power supply, leads. And, you know, for a Mega Drive 1, this is as nice and as solid as a box as I've seen in a long time. So that was a nice item. 
the Mega Drive wasn't actually in that box when um, he was displaying it because it was in one of these cases. Let's fuck all in that moment because I took it out. And there was a pile of games. And the price, it, like, this is unusual for me. I didn't even buy it because the prices you've given me were so good. And I was like, I know I can make money on this stuff. So I'll just skim through the games. Uh, PJ Golf Tour 2, not a great game. Ayrton Senna, Super Monaco GP2. Mega Games 1. Mega Games 2. And Mega Games 3. There's still loads. I think there was about 16 games in total. The Last Battle. Or Last Battle. Why have I added that? Oh, Xenon. Spelt with an X. A bit like Roller, X-Core. Or it's a silent X or whatever. Game I hated as a kid. Hated it. Marble Madness. This is one I'll probably be keeping for myself. Because I've A, not seen it. And B, not got it. So it's NBA Hang Time. Looking on eBay. Because uh, it's not on CEX. You're looking about £30, £40 game there. Uh, Ms. Pac-Man. I've not got that either. With the Hang Tabby and the manual. Some of these are missing manuals. A lot of them are. But it's stock for the shop. Uh, PGA Tour Golf 1, the first one. F1. Batman Returns Classics. Now, this hasn't got the manual, but can anyone shout me out? I mean, look at the condition of that car. That car's minty fresh. Is it a standard manual or is it a Classics Edition manual that goes with that? I do not know. We've got Lemmings. There's a few of them about. Aladdin, and finally, Mrs. Manual, Christmas is coming up, don't play any fucking Christmas stuff till the 1st of December, don't put your decorations up till the 1st of December, it's not Christmas till December, got Halloween, got burn Stuart Bonfire Night, so let's not skip ahead of ourselves, so Home Alone, so that is the first lot of gaming stuff, there's another two, two, two three piles of gaming stuff, um, so that was agreed. That's a great little bundle. You don't see bundles like that anymore. Um, I'm going to split this into two. I'll show you the figures first. Just to split it up. So we've got piles and piles of these figures. Mask. I'll show you a lot. He was very apologetic that he'd lost four helmets. I'm like, mate, you finding these with helmets in this day and age. That's Miles Mayhem. Leader of Venom. Um. There's two map trackers there. Now, my map tracker that goes with Spectrum, not the funky type or the ZX, the car, he's missing his helmet, so I can now complete that, get a little bit more money on that sale. I don't know a lot of the... Floyd Malloy or so... Malone? Floyd Malloy or something like that? I don't know the other guy. I like his helmet, though. I remember that back in the cartoon. I don't know if these two are the same figure or there was a set of twins who always used to have the same outfit. But different helmets. Answer in the comments below. Another different map tracker. I, I think that one goes with Rhino. I'm not too sure. Another figure there. Another one with a helmet. That is such a small helmet compared to the others as well. So the fact he's even got some with helmets is amazing because massively increases the value. There we go. So we've got a bit of we've had a bit of Power Rangers. We've had some Mega Drive. We've had some Mask. Uh, what shall we do next? I oh, know. I'm gonna do this because I've got to bend for it. A lot of bending today. So there's an absolute tray full here of Atari 2600 games. So there's some instruction there. That's more like a pamphlet for the the Parker Brothers um, games, which there's a few of those in here. Again, an, another like pamphlet that's got um, ColecoVision on the back. Another pamphlet, Pac-Man manual, that's a spoiler, there's a copy of Pac-Man in there, uh, Robot Tank, again another spoiler, and a really nice Atari 2600 man. all sorts of stuff, if you compare it up, because a lot of it went missing unless they're boxed and complete, you know, like those really rare Xbox 360 games that are really difficult to get boxed and complete, um, these are the sort of stuff that goes missing, so it's nice to have. Again, I'm going to scream, scream, scroll through, do it really quick. we got Smurfs. Someone count as we go along. 
Breakout. Oh, I can't get into it. Pac Man. Bowling. Indy 500. Boxing. Football, as in actual proper football, not that stupid things the Americans call football. Tennis. Robot tank. Unfortunately, it's one of those uh, Atari 2600 carts where the glue over years, it really goes fucking horrible. Classic game. Pitfall. One I believe I've got box complete at home is uh, Frostbite. We've got Super Breakout, which is slightly better than Breakout. Really nice copy of uh, Mousetrap here because they're notorious for the uh, orange and red going like white over time. Pole Position. Who remembers the cartoon? I obviously do. Solar Fox. Carnival by Sega on the Atari. Chopper Command. I don't actually believe I have that. I need, I need to check some of these. So I do act, actually collect um, the Atari 2600. Keystones Capers. Whenever I go to a bar in um, Worcester called Keystones, I always think of that. A nice grey cart. Quart? Quart? A nice grey cart of golf. And then we're on to the Parker Brother game. So we've got Frogger. Really nice conditioned Frogger. Sky Skipper, I don't believe I have that. That that will be definitely going in my collection. Collection, I can't fucking talk today whatsoever. I mean, I have only probably been up an hour. And Spider Man, Spider Man does whatever a spider can. I'm in a singy mood today. Singy singy mood. Yeah, so there you go. Nice big pile. Came in this box, complete with belly button fluff that you just saw fall there. Again, that was really, really cheap. I mean, I can't emphasise how cheap this stuff was. There's some good profit in this for me. And I've got a lot of events coming up. We'll have a little break. We'll tell you what events we've got coming up. So this Sunday, myself, 2 to uk and uh, Fob, Robert, we're doing the Leicester Comic Con over at Aylstone Leisure Centre. Uh, get yourself over there on Sunday. I'm going to be taking not so much my gaming wares. It's going to be like uh, Funko Pops, Pokemon cards, odd bits of toys, because it's a toy fair as well. So... There'll be a mixture of things there. Um, I think Stu said um, Jimmy Retro is going to be there. Might be worth going because I've not seen Jim for ages. Pop over and see him. Uh, I'm going to be there selling. Then the 30th of this month, I'm at the NEC. The last but one ever at the NEC it could be. Cause there's talk of it being finished. Uh, then on the 26th of November, we've got the crash event over at um, the Best Scott Stadium or Poundland Stadium, whatever it's called now. Um, that's there. That's Chris Wilkins' uh, crash event, mainly based around the Spectrum. There is going to be odd bits of other stuff. So uh, if you're into your Spectrum, there's only about 50 tickets left. Get yourself a ticket. And then on the 27th of December, the day after Boxing Day, is the last ever NEC, potentially. So uh, that'll be sad if that goes, because it's the biggest, but probably the best organised event I ever do. Um, hopefully they can come to some agreement and bring it back so after that commercial break where I'm advertising what I'm up to we'll go on to some more toys I don't know the names of these vehicles but they're all masked all still have their functions working he says as he pulls the door off one I can't get this one to transform I was having a ball out with it last night because, you know, if you're going to buy toys, you got to play with them, is not you? So the doors come down. That comes up at the back. I believe there's a disc at the front. The wheels all fold underneath, a bit DeLorean-esque. You get the picture. It's flying effect. Um, there's the bike. I believe that's Matt Tracker's bike. I want to say it is. It, like, pings up there and folds down a bit somewhere else. And some rocket shoot out and shit like that this one i was messing with this morning so uh that like does that fold that down and that goes up somewhere else or oh, let's see if we can transform it i believe that was the bumper yeah and then that folds out and shoots guns and everything and it all still works it's all a, it's all a little bit stiff 
with its old age, a bit like me, not in that kind of age, jeez, no. Um, but yeah, they all still work and functional. This one's still got its tyre that shoots off at the end. Are we going to do that? Let's find the button. Yeah, it just shot off there. I'll find that in a bit. Um, so again, another mask vehicle. I'm not too sure on all the transformations of it. Looks like the bumper folds down. It's got some sort of guns in the front. Oh, that's it, yeah. So yeah, again, they're all, all working there. Might give them a little bit of a lube up, you know, a little bit of a spray, see if that gets them going. I've got one of these already. I did know what the name of the character was in it, but I can't remember. This one's missing its tyre on the back. They're always missing the tyre on the back, these. Again, as I say, they're, they're functional, they're working. Um, I have one of these in the shops as well. It's the bike that turns into the helicopter. You know. I haven't got the figure for this one here, though. I know that for a fact because uh, he's in a yellow suit, the figure. So there you go, a few mask vehicles. There was a couple of random bicycles chucked in, which I don't know what that one's from. But this one is from the TV series, Chips. So, yes, yeah, so that's all the toys. So we're down to just the video games and consoles that are left. Um, I'll show you the boring one first. PS2, memory card, controller, really cheap, needs a bit of a clean out, but there you go. Basically this guy, um, what I gather, she was getting rid of her sons who was there, really nice guy, really nice guy to talk to, uh, and uh, his brother's stuff who uh, unfortunately had passed away, um, so that she'd been getting rid of the toys for a long time, they'd sold thousands of pounds worth of Lego, she told me, I mean, it must have been the really old sets. Um, they got rid of other stuff on the boot sale, which is a little bit gutting because I bought that. Um, but she has said there may be an Amstrad up in the loft and there may be a Tari and some Sabutio. Um, I think I've made that connection where it's like they know I'm not going to mess them about. They know I'm going to buy it. So they're hopefully going to be in touch if they find anything else. So we'll go on to the last lot of the pickups and probably the stuff that I'd consider maybe the best. Um, we've got a few games. Sega Rally. All for the Saturn, these. All in really nice condition. Command and Comca. I mean, they're stiff to open, which is unusual with a Saturn box that's not completely crumbled and all the cardboard fell off. So they've obviously, everything here has obviously been very well looked after, which, you know, in this day and age is, is really hard to get hold of. Alien Trilogy. Mass Destruction. I've got, the, I've got all these. Virtua Fighter 2. Clearly was into their golf because there's PGA uh, Tour 97. Rayman. Of course you couldn't have a Saturn without having Daytona. D -d Daytona. Um, Sega Worldwide Soccer. I've got this. I don't know if it's any good. And here's one that might interest the Retro Bear. Worldwide Baseball 2. So a lot of sports titles there, but I really didn't pay a lot. And, and the creme de la creme, really. Although the box is really nice, it's got a couple of big rips right where you pull it up. We've got a box Saturn. You know, Saturns are hard enough to get hold of as it is. It's got the controller, aerial, zip plug, the actual official plug as well that says Sega Saturn on here. I have got the baggy for it somewhere. I think it's still down in the boot of my car. Baggies and all sorts. And the Saturn just needs a dust off. So yeah, so we got a box Sega Saturn. That, everything, that... I can't believe how much I paid, how little I paid for it. Um, you know, I didn't even barter. I just agreed with the prices they wanted. Sometimes you just agree because, you know, you're getting a good deal. Uh, that was all last night and all because I decided not to be lazy and fetch today. I've got some really nice stock to take to all my events. Um, let me know if you're interested in me doing these videos. Cause I know they're not really pickups. A lot of this isn't staying in my um, collection. There's probably a couple of games that may do. The rest is all for resale. I know, God, evil resale with his uh, own independent shop that he... Uh, actually grafts and tries to earn money from rather than trying to grift you know what i mean and beg for money you know what actually while we're here 
just out of question, if I set up a Patreon, because like, you know, I really can't be asked working anymore. I don't really want to work. So if you lot could pay me to just sit here, give me a bit of money, that'd be fucking great. Who's up for it? You know, most honest Patreon appeal ever. Just, just give me your money. No, I'm not that kind of way. I like to, as honest as possible, honest Dane, that's what we'll call me. I like to earn a living, you know, make a bit of profit, do a little bit of groundwork. I won't ever beg you for your money. Take it easy, YouTube. Goodbye for now.